Who's bought something from Dell Computer Corporation or Dell Inc. recently? What did you buy? Uh, laptop. Laptop. How did you buy it? Where did you get it? Uh, online. It's from Dell? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Inc. Yeah, just Inc. Hey, online? Online. Online. So what's interesting there is they pulled out of retail in 1994 because of thin margins and actually decided to go online in 1996. So they were almost like a precursor to Amazon in terms of building a business, which was an online business. So like, what happened? What went wrong? How come Amazon started selling more computers than Dell? In addition to that, Dell was so disruptive in the industry that they knocked out all their traditional competitors, IBM, Gateway, Compaq, they all went away. Dell crushed them. And today, so just this past week, I received this in the mail. It's my little Dell catalog. You get them too, right? Like, why are they sending me a Sears catalog from 1904? <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not buying a Model T. It's like, I, I don't want anything in here. Like, you have so much ability to, to do this stuff online in terms of how you market your company. It's like, why are you sending me this? We print flyers too. Because people tell us we have to have a flyer for, to describe what we do. Really, do you? So Sally, who works in marketing at Dell, and I don't know Sally who works in marketing at Dell, I'm just making it up. When, when she goes to work, she's just like head down, eye on the ball, because this next catalog has to be ready on Friday. She's not going to work as the marketing manager of Dell Inc. going like, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. Right? That's really my point. So when, when you think of these examples that I'm sharing with you, like the food bank or a soup kitchen or Dell or whatever, why do you do what you do? Because we resist change. We try and resist change as best we can so that we can just keep doing what we're doing. 